How is silicon carbide sick made? Have you ever wondered how a material as tough as silicon carbide is created? This fascinating process combines chemistry and high temperatures to produce a ceramic that is both durable and versatile. Let's break down the steps involved in making silicon carbide, also known as CC. First, we need to gather the raw materials. The main ingredients for making silicon carbide are silica, which is silicon dioxide, and a carbon source. Common choices for the carbon source are petroleum coke or coal. These materials are selected for their purity and ability to react effectively. Next, we move on to the carbothermic reduction reaction, which is the most common method used in industry. This process is known as the Atchison process. In this method, we mix silica and carbon and heat them to extremely high temperatures, usually above 2,000 degrees Celsius, in an electric resistance furnace. During this reaction, the silica and carbon combine to from silicon carbide and carbon monoxide gas. The chemical reaction can be summarized as silicon dioxide plus 3 carbon equals silicon carbide plus 2 carbon monoxide. Once the reaction is complete, the furnace is cooled down. The result is large, hard chunks of material called crude silicon carbide. These chunks are then crushed and ground into finer powders. This step is important because different applications requiring specific particle sizes. After crushing, the silicon carbide powder is classified by particle size. It may also undergo chemical treatments to remove impurities or adjust its surface properties. This ensures that the final product meets the desired specifications for its intended use. There are also alternative methods for producing silicon carbide. One is chemical vapor deposition, where silicon and carbon-containing gases are deposited onto substrates at high temperatures. This creates thin films or coatings of silicon carbide. Another method is polymer-derived ceramics. In this approach, preceramic polymers that contain silicon and carbon are shaped and then heated in an inert atmosphere to convert them into silicon carbide ceramics. This method allows for the creation of complex shapes and fine microstructures. For applications in electronics, single crystal silicon carbide wafers are produced using methods like the modified Lely process or physical vapor transport. These techniques involve sublimation and recrystallization at high temperatures to from large defect-free crystals, which are then sliced into wafers. Silicon carbide is highly valued for its hardness, thermal stability, and chemical inertness. It is widely used in abrasives, refractories, and high-temperature ceramics. In the electronics field, silicon carbide's wide band gap allows for efficient power devices that can operate at high voltages and temperatures. Understanding how silicon carbide is made helps us appreciate its properties and guides the development of advanced ceramics and semiconductor devices.